Hey guys, this is your girl, Miss J, coming back to you again with another little short video to check in with each and every one of you guys to see how you're doing with everything that's going on. It's been a couple of days since I talked with you guys, and I just want to come to you and see how everyone is faring with what's going on out here now. Um... I still see a lot of people that are out. I mean, I know we have, there are a lot that, are, that still has to go to work, like me included. But when I'm getting off from work on the day that I'm off, if I'm coming home, I'm just seeing people out with their children. I saw a lady on the street the other day walking with her child. Might have been like maybe 10 years old. Nothing on her arms. The day was okay. The weather wasn't bad. Jacket in her hand. The mom is walking with a coat unzipped. Walking with the dog. People. Please. Our children. Keep them safe. Keep them inside. I know everyone is going crazy right now with being cooped up in the house and you can't get out and you want to go different places and we can't. This virus doesn't care. It's waiting out there lurking like a thief in the night waiting to latch on to something to make you sick, to take your life, to make you gasp for air. I haven't seen my uh, my daughter close up and my G girls and my <clears throat> G son for almost a month now and which is a good thing because I'm staying away from them they're staying away from me I don't want to give them something that could make them sick and ill that I can say if I hadn't come on guys we'll adults we have children. We should stop acting like children that want to get outside and play. We should stop acting like it's so important to get outside to get a breath of fresh air. Yes, it is when it's safe. But right now, it's not safe at all. And I ask each and every one of you guys that's watching me right now, please don't take your family out, your children out, your mothers, your father, your grandparents, anyone that can be affected by what's going on out here, you know what's going on. Don't be sorry. Don't let tears roll from your eyes under your chin for something that you know that could have been avoided. There are thousands here in the city where I am that are affected by what's going on. There are hundreds of deaths here in the city that's going on everywhere. And we are asking people to just stay in. Just stay in. The outside is going to be there. The air that you want to get out and breathe is going to be there. But there's always something else out there waiting, lurking to get you. And we know what it is. Just listen and stay in. Don't go out unless you have to. If you have to go to the store, to the doctor, to get a couple of things, make sure that you have on plastic gloves, you have on a mask. Even if you don't have a mask, make one. If you don't have plastic gloves, put on your wintertime gloves. Make those those masks. We have so much material around at home that we can make masks. Excuse me. It's just be safe, guys. We have to be safe if we want our lives, if we want to get out there in that fresh air. When there's a chance to get out there, when this virus is no longer, but it lurks and waits for us, is searching out us each and every day we go out that door 
each and every day we want to get out there and feel that fresh air and take a walk and, you know, take the kids out because they're going stir crazy. Is waiting. Is waiting as soon as you open that door. Is waiting around that corner waiting for you. So please, guys, please don't go out unless you have to. Don't take your children out if you have to. I ran to the store on yesterday to get a couple of things. This lady gets out of her car. You know, she's coming. Nothing on her arm. You know, I look, you know, and she has on uh, capris. uh, And I'm just looking like you don't have anything on. No mask on, no glove on. You just got your purse. It's waiting. It's waiting to get you. So please, guys, please, if anything, for those that you care everything about, everything about, please protect them. Keep them safe. This is not the only thing that's going to stop us from going outside. There's other stuff just just lurking, waiting. So many other things that can happen. But this is taking people's lives. So please, guys, wash your hands. Make sure that you're clean. Make sure that your children's hands are washed and clean. You know, it's just it's it's just that simple to do. And I ask of you as Miss J, coming from J Love Blog. Of all the people that view me, of all the viewers that I have, of all the subscribers that I have who watch me. And I go into all of you guys' live streams and to your videos and leave comment. Leave me a comment below telling me that you're staying in, you're watching out for your family, that your family is healthy, and that they are safe. This is all we ask of, of anyone. This is the only thing I ask of each and every morning when I rise and sit on my bed and have my talk with God Almighty. I ask him to look over us and to bless us and make sure that this virus, this germ that's hurting so many, be wiped away. And you should also. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are are asking of these same prayers from him. All we have to do is ask. We're humble now when something like this is going on. But we're not humble when we go into the stores and we just take up everything from other people who might need a few things also. We know we normally don't buy stuff like this. But you have to think of others who are in need also. Um... I'm just lost for words. Yes, it has gotten to the point anxiety does set in. I suffer with anxiety. But that fear of something that you can't see, but you know is there, kind of puts you up in your shoulders of looking around to see if anyone is looking, to see if it's there, to see if you see it when you can't see it, but it's there. This is Miss J from J Love Blog, and you guys have a beautiful weekend, and be safe, and I will be talking with you guys soon. So blessings to you all. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.